Good evening, YouTube. We're going to go check out the greenhouse. I went to lift the grill. I'm about to cook dinner. And after the Hurricane Hannah passed us by, we didn't receive any real damage. We got about a half an inch of rain. About 93 degrees out here now. And, uh, yeah. Let's go check see what the greenhouse looks like. Well, everything's still here and everything's still green after the hurricane. Boy, that potato plant is really growing. Onions look happy. What I'm really looking forward to seeing is over here in the fluke table. Less than a week ago, or thereabouts, we planted a whole bunch of stuff in the uh, fabric pots from seeds. See, my cilantro is happy. So are the peppers. The dill is growing. Oh, looky there. Wow. That's carnival carrots. And there's scarlet nantes carrots. My old tender sweet carrots didn't didn't take off. But the carnival carrots. There's the uh, old Chantenay red carrots and the old uh, Danvers carrots. So it looks like the old seeds didn't come up. There's some more scarlet nantes. So the new carrots are coming up like gangbusters. And look at the old lettuce. This is old lettuce. This is from, oh, nine years ago. We've got some sprouting up. Some old lettuce propping up. The loose leaf lettuce hadn't popped up at all. That radish, well, we got a couple. We got one that just kind of laid over. There's radishes. All season romaine. We only have uh, two that have popped up. And there's the Napa cabbage. We got a few popping up there. We got some radishes popping up there. And all season romaine. That's out of the old seeds. And here's the new Napa cabbage. And yeah, not much activity there. But we have Napa cabbage here. So I have high hopes. Look like we're gonna have to thin out some of the carrots. But they're sprouting. Mrs. P will be happy. And I'm surprised the old uh, butterhead lettuce took off. Yeah, we got them popping up all over the place in here. I remember we planted some of these kind of deep, so it may need to take another week for it to come out. But yeah, the, that was the experiment. We did not remove these from their nursery dirt before we went and put them in these pots, and they're quite happy. So it we'll, looks like we'll have some cilantro soon. The leeks are taken off. They were cut off down to about this level. And all of this is within the last few weeks. That's impressive. And the green onions that we planted bunched are happy, although they're falling over from the wind and the rain that we got. As you might be able to tell, the uh, tadpoles are getting bigger. Quite active in here running for their little lives and
looks like the cucumbers are affixing themselves to the fence quite readily. And these are the uh, pickling cucumbers that have pretty much died back. I didn't think they were going to come back at all. We do have some empty pots there, but not everybody has got problems. Some of them look like they're kind of happy. We might actually get those come back. And there's the, uh, uh, what do you call them, strawberries. Still haven't seen any strawberries. We got peppers, the jalapeno peppers. And look at all of these. These are the orange lunchbox uh, peppers. They're looking quite happy. And here we've got some dark bell peppers. Kind of expected those to be green, but yeah, they're supposed to be green. I don't know why they're looking like that. And that's a tomato plant. Mrs. P's cherry tomatoes. Haven't seen any any tomatoes yet, but they're growing. They're being happy. And I think I'm going to have to ha have to cut that off. Everything I've read, as soon as they start making flowers, you got to clip them, clip them quick. Yeah, and that's making some leaves. It looks like something's been chewing on my leaves. Uh-oh. I think I see what's been chewing on my leaves. Those guys right there. I don't know if you can see them well or not, but two grasshoppers having sex. Excuse me while I go commit murder. Now that I've put the uh, grasshoppers out of my misery, there's the fish, and I'm about to go feed, feed everybody. Well, they're feisty. Now, since these guys made all that plate food disappear, I got five pieces of brine shrimp chunks, freeze dried. They will make those things disappear in a heartbeat. Gone. Let's toss one more piece. Take this piece and split it in two. And gone. Like a bunch of piranhas. Let's go feed the big fish. Yeah, this is the big fish tank. With the big koi. He just 
splash me. I guess that's a thank you. Yeah, they make that food disappear in a matter of moments. Well, now that we fed everybody, it's time to go fix dinner. Go up on the porch and do my nightly duty, or semi-nightly duty, and slap some meat on the grill. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us and enduring the uh, update. <laughs> Looks like it's... Uh, Close to 700 degrees. I think I'm ready to make dinner. Come back and see us. <laughs>